Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to show with you guys. I legitimately have absolutely no idea what's in this package. Uh, there's no indicator on the front, which is fine. Total mystery. We're going to find out together. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down in the description. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. So, darn it. There we go. Lots of tape there. Wow, I didn't even make it. There we go. I didn't make it all the way through. <laughs> it looks like there's a note, so that's good. Hang on. Let me get the note out of there so that we don't... Get, uh, oh, 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 I know. I know what this is. Hang on, let me read. Starting July 1st, dealers will have a specially marked package. Buy one, get one package. This is from Civivi. And we, right? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, so anyways, this, let's, I'll, I'll read it exactly. Sorry, I was, I was reading there for myself. Starting July 1st, dealers will have a specially marked Arrakis BOGO or buy one, get one package available for sale. These special boxes include a Wii Arrakis plus one random Civivi knife. There's a wide variety of Civivi knives that have been included in these packages. The cost of this package will be the same price as the Arrakis alone. Okay, so the Civivi comes free. That's actually, that's a nice way to do that. I think that's. I think we can agree that's a nice way to do that, right? So if you want the if you want the Arrakis, it's like you get a random Civivi knife for free, right? It doesn't it doesn't that way it doesn't feel like a gamble, right? The free Civivi will have a value of fifty bucks to ninety bucks. Okay, the Arrakis selection will vary, and only participating dealers will have them. It will also be available for purchase on the Civivi website. I will link as much of this as I can right down below. If you're like, what is this? How do I get in on it? I'll link it down below. Ah, uh, let's see. Please hold off until yeah. They won't. They will we'll make sure that this video is seen on the appropriate date. Absolutely. All right. Good deal. So let's get into this real quick. Oh boy. Okay. So I've handled the Arrakis before, but it was a long time ago. So yeah, this is cool. Look at the packaging. So it's the Arrakis, and then a random, <laughs> random Civivi knife. Um, let's see here. We got it. We gotta get in underneath that piece of tape there. There we go. People are gonna be like, you shouldn't, why you why you cut towards yourself? I don't know. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys, this isn't very dangerous at this point. But then again, it's always to say, you know, they say a, a, a dull knife is, is actually more dangerous than a sharp knife, which doesn't make sense until you accidentally get yourself with a dull knife and then it's like, oh, that's why, right? That's and this so i'm guessing that the uh, there we, i'm guessing that this is the arrakis because it feels pretty hip and it's well and it says we on the outside right it's the indicator there let's take a look at ooh <laughs> spicy meatball ooh hey i'll tell you what i like that color that's nice oh <laughs> so I have handled this before a long time ago. This is, um, oh God. Ah, where's the freaking, uh, the designer is, I know him. Oh my God. She's, I, if he watches this, he's going to be like, you suck, man. Um, uh, Elijah Isham, right? Isham, Elijah Isham, Isham. I'm so sorry. Yeah, flipping action is great. So we have this cool, like people look at this, you know, it, it technically is multiple pieces, but it gives that sort of solid uh, back area. It kind of gives that uh, integral aesthetic, right? I mean, the main aesthetic of this is the main aesthetic draw is the fact that this looks like it's fr literally from another planet, right? And that's kind of how, you know, Elijah Isham does his designs, like uh, sort of robot insects from another planet. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. What I'm really saying is, is there's nothing else out on in the knife world that looks like an Elijah Isham. So they're instantly recognized. Well, most of them are instantly recognizable. Lots of machine work, this particular one. The only time where a two-tone blade is actually preferable because it kind of goes along with the busyness of the knife. Had they done the knife in one tone, 
either satin or black or tumbled right all one thing it kind of would have taken away from the whole uh is it pretentious to say atmosphere of this knife you get it you get what i'm saying right this knife has an atmosphere <laughs> nobody's gonna walk by that and go that looks like a normal object to me nobody <laughs> nobody's that's never gonna happen right <laughs> crazy it looks cool right what's the blade steel i believe it is m390 there we go right there uh, can we focus yeah m390 titanium flame titanium right obviously this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea and i'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that this is my favorite looking knife in the whole world but it's interesting and it's absolutely made out of premium materials right there's going to be plenty of people who are interested in picking this up and then at the same time people are like can you shut up and show us the random civivi right all right let's see here what do we got what do we got what's mine oh we, we did it yeah heck yeah man i'll tell you what that's perfect <laughs> the badlands vagabond maybe they did that on purpose the badlands vagabond and the um ortis are uh the knives that i called the very best budget edc folding knives in existence why why both of them because the ortis is the same thing with a different blade shape no thumb studs uh and a uh a slot opener so it just comes down to preference so perfect i mean that is if i was going to order myself one of these I, it would it would look exactly like this just the black scales and the um uh the uh satin finished blade so there you go this is obviously going to be a premium knife it's going to be an expensive knife but then you get a nice, right? And if, you, if you're thinking to yourself, I'm not really into Civivi, right? I'm into the higher ends. That's why I bought this. Well, it's, for, it's, for, it's free. So you can give it to somebody as a gift. Civivi knives make some of the best gifts, right? I mean, not, not only do they make great EDC knives, whether you are seasoned, right? In the, the art of knife enthusiastness. Uh, they make great EDC knives no matter who you are, but they're also fantastic gifts for people who are not well versed in the knife world, what makes a good knife, what makes a good design, right? So it's always nice to start somebody off with a Civivi. So you can keep it for yourself. You can give it to somebody that you care about. Those would be my suggestions. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm super happy with this. <laughs> Look how busy. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I know it's not going to be for everybody, but these are just cool. I mean, they're different. There's nothing else out there that looks like this unless you venture into hyper custom territory, right? Multi-thousand dollar art knives with just kind of the the craziness, uh, some, I mean, ultra fantasy elements about them. But this has got reasonable ergonomics. This area right here, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this area right here is kind of aggressive. But you can bypass it completely and just choke up on it, which is probably how I would hold it. Honestly, that area makes way more sense for this finger. Index finger, I want up here. If you're going to choke back, that's not super comfortable. Up here, it's just fine. Nice, large forward choil, place for your thumb, right? Kind of reminds me of kind of the blade shape is similar in terms of where I'm wanting to put my thumb. The 0850 from ZT, the Rexford. Obviously... This is not a this is not a rip off of that knife. <laughs> uh, nothing that Elijah Isham uh, does looks like a copy of anything. I mean, this is that's one of the most unique design aesthetics, or his his design aesthetic is one of the most unique in the knife world. So very cool. So again, depending on how I edited this, uh, this uh, special will start July. First. So you're likely watching this video when that is about to happen or is happening right now. So again, the appropriate links for this package will be right down in the description for people who are interested. Thank you very much, we and Civivi, for letting me be a part of this. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Obviously, you'll get a review on this guy. You've already got a review on this guy. So we'll find something fun to do with this. Just stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.